Welcome back to my PaintShop Pro X6 tutorial series. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use the white balance function. So first of all open up an image of your choice which you want to do a white balance on. So once you've opened up your image you'll see on the left hand side it says white balance. You need to left click on that and then you'll see that it's open this selection area here. Now there's two sections, there's a temperature one and a tint one. The temperature one will allow you to make your photos look either cooler, so they'll go bluer, or warmer, so more of a yellowy colour. The tint allows you to put either a greenier or a more purple effect on your photos. So I'm just going to demonstrate the temperature one here. If I drag this slider to the left, you'll see that it's going to make the photo look a lot colder, so it's going to add more of a blue, more of a wintry feel to the photo. So if I just drag it there, you can see that everything including the foreground has gone much cooler, more washed out colours if you like. So if I drag it to the right again and then into the warmer section you can see it's a lot warmer, it's more more of a summery kind of photo. So you're going to have to suit the temperature with your photo and what it is. So if say you were doing a photo in the snow you would probably want to keep it in the cooler section but not too blue, you're just going to have to sort of fine tune it. You probably wouldn't want it warm because obviously snow and warm doesn't really mix. So what you'll have to do is just play around on here and get pretty much the right colour for your the topic of your photo. So you can use the slider or you can change them with these up and down arrows. This will change the numbers in small amounts to get more of a precise change on the slider. So I'll just put that back to 5000 which is in the middle and then we're going to have a look at the tint function. So if we slide it to the left you'll see that it adds more of a green um, again a bit of a colder feel to the photo and if I slide it to the right it's adding more of a purple which again is more of a warmer feel. So like I said you need to just play around and make the colour of the photo fit the topic of the photo. So hopefully this video has helped. Please stay tuned for more videos like this in the future.